Hello, my little mathematicians. This is Mrs. Brown, and today we are going to learn how to solve linear systems by graphing. So first of all, what is a system of linear equations? Well, it's a linear system that consists of two or more linear equations in the same variable. So we've already learned about linear equations, and let's take an example of these two equations. So x plus 2y equals 7 and 3x minus 2y equals 5. Both of these equations, as we can see, are linear. And since they have x and y in common, they would be considered to have the same variables. So if we were to graph both of these into the same x and y plane, they would be considered linear systems. So, in order to find a solution for them, we would simply graph them into the same plane. The solution of it would then be an ordered pair that satisfied each equation in the system. Or, in other words, it would be an estimated point or ordered pair where both of the lines would intersect. So, how would we find that estimated point? Let's take our example of x plus 2y equals 7 and 3x minus 2y equals 5. In order to graph it more easily, we're going to change the standard form into slope point form. So taking our first equation, when we change it to slope point form, we get y equals negative half x plus 3.5. When we solve for the y-intercept, we'll get 3.5. Then solving for the x-intercept, we'll get 7. Now that we have the y-intercept and the x-intercept and the slope, we can easily graph our line into our plane. Doing the same thing for the second equation, we find that the slope point form is y equals 3 fourths x minus 2.5. The y-intercept is then negative 2.5, and the x-intercept is 5 over 3. Again, now that we have our y-intercept, our x-intercept, and our slope, we can easily graph our second equation. Now, if you look at the graph, you see that the two lines intersect at a point. If we estimate that point, we get 3 and 2. That point of estimation is our possible solution. Now, as in algebra, we always like to check our work. So we're going to check and see if that estimated solution is the actual true solution for the two linear equations. So we're going to take 3 and 2, and we're going to input our x of 3 and our y of 2 into our original equations. So taking our first equation, we're going to put in 3 for x and 2 for y. We get 3 plus 2 times 2 equals 7, which simplifies to 3 plus 4 equals 7, which equals 7 equals 7, which means it's true. We're going to do the same thing for the second equation. We take 3x minus 2y equals 5, and we input 3 for the x, the 2 for the y. We get 3 times 3 minus 2 times 2 equals 5. And we get simplified of 9 minus 4 equals 5, which simplifies to 5 equals 5. Thus, that one is true. Yay! That means that 3 and 2 is a true solution for those linear equations. So in conclusion, while solving a linear system using graphing, first we have to graph both of the equations into the same coordinate plane. We then have to estimate the coordinates of the point of intersection. So we look at where the two lines intersect. Then lastly, we check our coordinates that we estimated algebraically by substituting it into each of the original linear systems.